This is our last bump up date, baby honey. And then I'll have you here. I wish that I would have took a pe took a picture of y'all niece hair, but I didn't um, this morning because we were kind of rushing a little bit. We were I was up because like I've been up literally all night. Okay, um, I did not go to sleep last night. I'm not tired. I'm a little tired, but I'm gonna probably get up and work because I have some work to do that I need to get done today. And I just was up most of the night, kind of just like reflecting. On like some things and just like I could not sleep for nothing and like I think it's because of the baby too like I can't sleep I had nightmares the other night and I'm just like getting anxious and worried so yeah I'm just having a hard time but I got some work that I have like really got to get done today so Y'all nephew was also up on that. He's up now. He's up. Stink. Good morning. He is cutting up and he's been like literally cutting up all morning. I don't know when this boy is going to come. He got two more weeks though, so I'm just chilling. We're just chilling until he decides to make his debut. I, my back is hurting really, really bad. And yeah, but I'm not gonna stay out here and talk. I might take a nap, honestly. If I'm gonna take a nap, I need to take a nap now because if I take a nap anytime closer to Tiana gets out of school, then that's not gonna be good. I'd be sad when TT leaves to go to school, y'all. That's sad, ain't it? <laughs> That's my little bestie, boo. We be hanging out. And y'all see my baby? She be playing Fortnite. Don't play with her. Y'all look at this hair. This is how her hair came out. Real moisturized and braided up so we don't have to wait do you braided it in the morning. you braided it yes these are braids let me take these bows out because she doesn't even like the bows i like the bows you like the bows i like the big bows well she messes the bows up and she's getting out of her crackle ball and clip phase she doesn't like crackle balls and clips anymore so i guess we have moved on from those yeah 
Her hair looks so moisturized. Yeah. I can't wait to do my hair. Like this? Yep. Like this? Mm -hmm. This is natural. This is natural. I'm in Mario Kart and I came in first place finally. And I came in third. Good job. Good job. Ah! Hi, Lonnie Gang. Let me cut my heater on because baby it's cold in this room. So I just got done filming. What you guys will probably see this chit chat. Well not the chit chat, but you'll probably see um the hair video before you see this vlog. I am I'm currently up right now and I am about to start cleaning up my mess y'all know the mess that you just make when you like get done filming yeah i have one of those messes and it is 5 52 i'm wide awake is it gonna register to show y'all the time there we go yes so it's 5 52 i'm wide awake and I am about to just clean up and I gotta get y'all niece up in a minute for school so I'm gonna take her to school and yeah this hair is so cute it's so soft love it and y'all I laid my wig stop playing with me am I getting into my hair influencer bag again because I was already in that bag before but like <sighs> don't play with it don't play with it don't play with it come on baby don't play with it. seriously i feel good and that's because i went to sleep and i slept all day y'all now i'm up cleaning up and shit so let's clean up the camera's gonna die oh my god i i'm just gonna try to film like while it's still on but i have had a long day and we'll go into detail about that later but right now i'm having pains i don't really know what pains they are hello what kind of dog is cherry um my i'm having contractions i think i don't really know because I don't know, like I know what they feel like, but I just don't know if these are contractions. So right now, I just kind of been timing them. But I just, they're kind of like, I don't know. I don't know if they're Braxton Hicks or if they're real contractions. Mm. Okay, y'all, I had to get myself together. Okay, but as I was saying before the camera rudely died one was like five minutes and then one lasted I mean one was five minutes in between time one was seven minutes in between time so I'm not sure for real but I am gonna keep tracking it through the night and if it gets a little bit worse then I'm going to head to the hospital and at least just go to be to check to make sure because the last thing that I want to do is be sitting in here waiting and then I get there and then they tell me oh you can't get the epidural so I am going to give them hell because I'm having pain in my ass okay in my stomach my cooter it just all hurts okay so and what makes me think that i'm having like contractions for real is because i've switched positions i've done different positions it has not gone away and then my stomach is tightening hard when the contractions come and they keep coming so we'll see i'm about to eat some five guys in a minute 
once it gets here like that so i will come back and update you guys okay and it is january 10th it's 8 29 right now i am just about two weeks away from my due date so we will see we'll see this the grilled cheeseburger and it don't really look like it do on tiktok but we'll see Me for free no oh to let me go on in there well, enough free enough. They gave us a free milkshake. So, I know this is real disappointing. <laughs> Y'all probably thought we would be in the hospital right now. So did I. Um, yeah. I don't. I guess I was having false contractions. I don't know because I'm feeling better. These are her new balances that I had posted on my Instagram story. If you guys remember or not they're so cute turn to the side they're like literally so cute okay and then she has her turn this way her new balance jacket and she's just a cutie 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 getting ready for school mm -hmm. she's gonna have a great day aren't you gonna have a great day girls be like yeah i was like i don't know why the girls be saying mm. I'm ready to have this baby. I'm ready to get this baby out of me. Oh, I fucking understand. I understand. I understand. Okay, I need some of that raspberry tea. I need all the remedies because at this point, if I go to the doctor Friday and she'll tell me no, oh, you're so and so centimeters dilated, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> he is hurting. He's running out of room, okay, because he is hurting me for sure. And all I want is some pancakes. Oh yeah, guys. I think I lost my mucus plug because I had a discharge and I was like, mm, okay, I don't normally have discharge. Ugh. <sighs> Not like how it was. And it was like thick and oh, this is kind of TMI, so if you don't want to hear it turn it down but it was like thick and white and it didn't have a smell but i googled it because i was like this is not like a normal discharge if i was to have one so i googled it and it was like mucus plug and i go to the doctor tomorrow so we'll see mm, i'm scared i'm scared i'm scared i'm scared uh, i'm scared now nah, shit Oh, I know I said I'm ready for him to come. And when everybody, I see why pregnant people just be so irritated when they pregnant because like, I understand like y'all don't mean no harm. It really is not y'all. It's not y'all on YouTube. It's Instagram. <sighs> they be like, um, I feel like you've been pregnant for so long. First of all, like, are y'all just saying that y'all tired of me posting because I literally didn't tell y'all I was pregnant until I was like four months pregnant. So, yeah. I love you. As I'm getting dressed, I come across this um, this thing, and it signed in on my grandma's um, Google Photos. So these are her photos. And this is TT 2018. That's her and my dad when she was baby. That's her in 2016. It says. 2016, um, 2018, 2018, she was at a summer camp, <laughs> um, 2018, look at her, 
I'm like literally crying right now. Why is she growing so fast? Hi guys, hi vlog. Y'all know what really keep me motivated, y'all, is watching vlogs. So I took, oh sorry, I got food in my mouth. I'm eating, I'm sorry. But I took y'all suggestions and I've been like watching some of the moms, literally, only one person only one person commented one mom that I don't watch already like everybody else I, I watch all of those moms I watch McKenna I watch Paisley I watch um I think Zanadia I've I watch her I'm watching her currently actually um I've watched a lot like I watch like basically all the moms that you guys commented I've watched them so, I don't know. I just, oh, and then Asia Nari, I watch her. I, like, really watch her all the time. Because I I relate to her a lot because she has two kids, but. And you have two kids? And I have two kids, yes. I got three kids, Mr. Christopher. <laughs> but, y'all, I'm watching youtube really keeps me motivated i feel like youtube is probably the less negative platform <laughs> so let me tell you how the appointment went so i got to the appointment and she just literally asked me was i in any pain blah blah blah, blah. that was it okay cool so she wasn't gonna check me she checks his heartbeat she measures my belly and then like she'll that'll be it but i want her to check to see if i dilated any a one centimeter dilated and she was like this little nugget's being being stubborn isn't he and i don't really feel like he's being stubborn because it's not even his due date time yet like he gonna come out when he ready he not ready to come out yet i'm ready for him to come out he's not ready to come out yet clearly so, we're not going to force my son's son to come out. But I got another appointment next week. Next week is actually due date week, I think. Mm, ten more days, so. Two more weeks. Two more weeks until my due date. But I feel like he's going to come next week. Because if I'm already one centimeter dilated, I don't know, just basing it off of my last pregnancy. Because with TT. I was two centimeters dilated and they told me I was gonna have to be induced when my doctor came back over a weekend I was like no we had talked about this lady inducing me on my mom's birthday so I don't know why she decided she want to go out of town they was like we don't have any indu induction is that the right word plans so we'll set it up when she get back I was like oh no this baby's gonna have to come out of me so I was operation get Tiana out of me. And sure enough, she came that night. Now, granted, I haven't done anything for him to come right now. I've been, like, laying in the bed. I haven't done anything. I haven't even been bouncing on my little ball. But come next week, I'm going to get to bouncing. think we're going to go We're gonna go to the park tomorrow, maybe. It's going to be cold. So that's why it's a maybe because it's freezing it's just it just decided to get cold over the last couple of days and it was like a tornado watch yesterday y'all so um yeah it's real cold outside i think the low is like 37 and if you somewhere cold and you probably like that is not cold floor a floridian it is cold it's 40 degrees that's cold to me sweetheart mm-mm it's 40 degrees and it's windy. It's not like 40 degrees and it's no wind. It's like 40 windy. Mm -mm. I don't like that. It's real cold too. Mm -hmm. It's real cold. I should have went and got some fried donuts. Oh, why didn't you go? You said you wanted it. I don't feel like riding or going out in the cold. I can come with you and I can give you... And I can wear one of your jackets, and you can wear one of my jackets. He hurts 
but I know, but mm -mm. he hurt me so bad. He's just like, I don't know. Let's see what's on here that I can get for sweet. Not me looking at DoorDash. I always look at DoorDash, y'all, and then guess what? I end up not using it. Because I'm just like, I can go get it. cleaning up I think I overdid it because I was supposed to go to the to the where was I supposed to go to the grocery store right I was gonna take y'all to the grocery store to me y'all ended up doing a pickup order right all right taking a nap literally being in the bed all day They forgot, they didn't get the cereal. And that just really bothers me. Because that's something I really wanted. So now I'm just sitting here. With no cereal. Contemplating if I'm going to go out and go get some. I don't think I ever had a pregnancy craving this bad. I'm going to cry because I really wanted those frosted flakes. And I don't want to go to the store. I don't want to go out. That's the whole purpose of me doing delivery. They just piss me off. And I guess I can't get mad because I did delivery. But like, golly. I know y'all have frosted flakes in there. It's Walmart. I know y'all have, have frosted flakes. They, this one's they have frosted flakes or green beans. They can green beans, y'all. I know y'all have green beans. Probably been 
my favorite snack i never used to eat fruit this much but like since i've been pregnant um grapes have been my favorite and then i started eating bananas and then one day i was just like oh my god orange juice yeah i know i've been loving orange juice throughout my whole pregnancy get me by but orange juice too i'm like oh yes let me tell y'all how i seen this picture i've seen this video i have never seen what the nipple look like in the breastfeeding thing when it's like suctioning right because like they don't ever show that and of course they don't why would they on the internet you know it literally looks like a cow i'm not lying we're like cows i've been like putting all these breastfeeding tips together all these newborn tips together and i'm just like okay kaylani stop stressing yourself out when he come we're gonna nail this we're gonna we're gonna do this okay we're gonna we're gonna fucking do this okay i need to stay off the internet because i see so many things on the internet and it's like okay i'm scared now i seen this lady that was having her fifth kid and she was screaming with the epidural screaming no and i still don't even know what i want to do as far as with the epidural or not i guess I, i'm just really going to decide that in the moment because i don't think i'm going to be able to handle the pain but i don't really know and then i'm like well if god if god made medicine <laughs> Why would you do this and feel pain? Okay? Oh, I don't know. I remember my grandma saying all the time. She wished, she was like, I wish they had pain medicine when I had my first baby. I was miserable. I was screaming. And I was like, oh my God. I dropped that, Chris. I don't know. I don't even know what to expect. It's really feel like my first kid all over again. Like, I think I kind of checked out a little bit when I was pregnant with Tiana. When I was having Tiana in labor and stuff, because I don't remember being this nervous. I just kind of went on with life. And that's what I do when I go through something traumatizing. I just go, I just push through. I just be living. Like when my mom died, I just kind of pushed through. I just kind of hopped back into school. When my grandma died, I just kind of pushed through. I was party and I just kind of hopped back right into life I didn't grieve I didn't feel so yeah I don't know it's different this time it's different this time and nobody understands every time I say something everyone's always like oh but you've done it before you've done it already I know and I remember talking about it before and I would say it was the most beautiful experience and I remember that I remember them laying Tiana on my chest and my tears coming because this is mine. I did this. This was mine. I had this baby. I posted on um, my community thing and you guys are so supportive and we really greatly appreciate it. I really love you guys so much and I appreciate all the prayers and all the love that I have been receiving from you guys. I can't even, I don't even have the words. We greatly appreciate it. And all the prayers that you guys have been giving to us. Smell good? Yeah. Thanks. I tried. And you did good. <clears throat> I tried. <clears throat> Smell it. Smell your muscles. Let me see your muscles. Okay, Titi's gonna rub my back for me, guys. Cause it's hurting. Real bad. Oh, well, let me tell you where it's hurting at. Right here? Down right here. here. <laughs> Down here? Yeah, right there. Like my face mask. Hmm. Like my face mask. Yeah. 
We should do a face mask today. We should. on YouTube. I already finished watching all my shows. Jenny and Georgia. Which was really good by the way. Did we talk about Jenny and Georgia? I don't know but it made me cry like 10 million times. <laughs> because if you're like a mother then you just understand. If you're like a mother especially like a young mother so then you just know like <sighs> you just feel her. You just feel her. You know what I'm saying? And it I said that Jenny was like really getting on my nerves. She was being very, un I wouldn't say ungrateful, but she was just doing the most. Like, okay, have your feelings. You can, but you can't tell nobody how to, have it, how to have their feelings. But she was doing the most, okay? I'm also understanding in a sense to Jenny because it's like, you know, your mom did do a lot of things. And as parents, we don't really realize how much those things will affect our kid but that it does affect them it affects the way they grow and it affects the way they think like it'll affect them so i get both sides but she as a parent it was irritating my soul i'm like oh my god jenny 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 like like first of all like it was like the taking the credit card and all of that stuff like girl i know that tiktok that's like showing people where like um them at a certain age and then them after like them later on but like one's passed away well this lady did it with her baby daddy and someone said did he die and she said he od'd but she's like has the clown emoji over his face and in the caption it says goofy i'm just gonna keep why is that on my why is that on my timeline 21 can you do something for me can you talk to my mom next for me talk to your mom about what <laughs> Twenty one. Can you do something for me? Can you, can you talk, talk to, to my kids, kids next <laughs> for me? Twenty one. Oh, they getting on my nerves. Can you talk to Chris next <laughs> for me? Yeah, tell Chris stop barking. <laughs> <laughs> About six what? Just six. Yeah. What? Ketchup on your eggs. Ketchup on my eggs. Yep. How I first tried ketchup on my eggs. Mm -hmm. I was about your age. And my brother loved ketchup. He would go in the kitchen and he would eat the ketchup out of the bottle. Oh my God. He, oh, I got heart blend. Hopefully y'all nephew ain't gonna be bald headed cause I got, I got some heartburn going on. Ooh, just a minor though. But yeah, he would go in the kitchen and he would eat the ketchup out of the bottle. So, one day, well, the eggs was the first thing that I ever learned how to make. So, I used to make eggs all the time. And, um, he put ketchup on his eggs. Which brother? Desmond. And I tried it, and from that day forward, I loved it. It's good. Some eggs. And then eat them together. 
Breakfast potatoes are a little salty. It's good. I know. Already. I feel sick. Mm. That's that iron pills. That's taking. Ooh. That's taking those supplements before eating. Ooh, because I feel sick. And I told him that rumor was going to drive Michael B. Jordan back to white women. And then this and morning. Then you, and then you pulled up the receipt. See, the rumor report, now. you pulled up the receipt no. that validated. And here we are. Well, let's hear what Michael B. Jordan said when he was on the Breakfast Club 10 years ago. You know, I spent a lot of time away from my family. I didn't talk to my dad, you know what I'm saying? I had brothers and sisters and stuff like that. You know, I was, uh, you know, I worked out a lot. It was a sad place, man. I was kind of like dating myself. And so the physical aspect was, that was the easy part. Mentally kind of going to that lonely place and willing to do whatever it takes to kind of free his people was the, not the, was the more challenging part. You know what I'm saying? There was a lot of fun too. Lola, what's up from Houston? Talk to us. Yeah, I'm calling about the topic, about the men dating white women. Okay. And I think I speak on behalf of all sisters when I say we don't care who they date. Orange, green, purple, black, yellow, red. So beautiful. Well, he was with Miss Harvey. You know You're so beautiful. Uh, beautiful. 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 Oh, dropping the food bomb for Lori Harvey. Look at my beautiful black child. collecting black Hollywood actors like She is. She is. She is. Hey, hey, Jason Lee, what's up, man? What's good? I'm good, man. I'm so strong, man. Jason Lee, Ariana. Uh, I hands up. I tell the lights down right now. Put me in the Your fragrance, hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Uh, and I know your taste is a little bit mm, high maintenance. Uh, everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you when you're in the mood for empathy and blood in my pen. Better yet, with your friends and them. I really wanna know you all, I really wanna show you off. Pour up plenty of champagne Cold nights when you curse this name You called up your girlfriends and y'all curled in that little bitty range I heard that she wanna go and party She wanna go and party Nigga don't approach up with that Atari Nigga that ain't good game homie sorry They say conversation Rule the nation I can tell But I could never write my wrongs Unless I write it down for real P.S. Oh, you said where would I where do I want to start <laughs> well to begin with I have well, I, my parents were teen parents so um, that's number one they were teen parents so they were both very young and um, my grandma basically raised me but my mom was still alive too I'm older like I kind of just like push those feelings. I guess it makes me sad because I'm gonna cry, but I don't know if that's just because I'm pregnant. <laughs> okay guys, uh, so this is how therapy went, clearly. Um, but it's never a bad thing to release those emotions and get those emotions out. Talk about the things that are hard to talk about. I am kind of bumped right now so hi guys it's 
so my hair is literally a mess i didn't bother to fix it at all currently eating cookies oh oh my god i hate when that happens on 51 a.m i actually just woke up earlier you guys seen me eating in bed after my therapy appointment it was just like we opened up a lot of wounds that i did know that i had you know but i just pushed them to the side so i don't really deal with them and it was just really a lot to deal with for me today and um i just had a hard time with my emotions and basically all of that stuff so today i decided to give myself a break cry release my emotions and pull myself together when i was ready normally the pulling myself together part takes a long time i am glad that i'm getting better at recognizing my emotions and not feeling sorry for myself because that has been something that i have done a lot is like really feel sorry for myself and kind of like put myself down as you guys know is this has been a long journey for me and therapy is like my step of getting myself together and just talked about a lot of things and opened up a lot of wounds and there are things that hurt me deeper than i realized that they hurt me now i'm just releasing those emotions in my journal and moving forward and do y'all want to know one thing that i learned and then i'm gonna stop talking because i'm talking a lot with like being a good person you guys know i talk a lot about wanting to be a better person this year and be a good person and one of those ways is to let god do his thing okay <laughs> it just dawned on me out of the blue out of the blue that i don't need to be a mean person or be mean to people that have wronged me in order to teach them a lesson. It's not my job to teach them a lesson, okay? It's my job to be a good person and go through life and keep being me, not change who I am for the moment because somebody has wronged me. My job to keep being a good person if I really wanna be a good person and let God handle that person so it's not my job to get my lick back which i love to say <laughs> yeah up in the score get my lick back but that's not my job and i'm never going to be happy if i live life feeling like oh it's people that i gotta get my lick back because i'll be feeling like that i'm not gonna lie i don't like being wrong or getting done wrong or people trying me i don't like that so but i'm gonna eat my cookies because i want to eat my cookies in peace guys so I can stop talking and taking pause breaks because they're so good. And I want to go buy some more cookies tomorrow because I ate all the cookies. <laughs> but I'll see you guys possibly in the morning because I'm about to edit while I have some energy. And yeah. Hi guys. Back. I've taken a shower and currently I am about to, well it's 10... 19 right now and I have a meeting at 11 30 at 11 30 to get on a call a meeting with um an influencer agency and I'm nervous right because old me and I've been really sitting here for the last 20 minutes contemplating on if I was going to do it or if I was going to make up an excuse because normally I would just make up an excuse as to why I'm not able to participate in the meeting right I'm nervous I'm really nervous but I'm going to do it because old habits are no longer allowed in 2023 so fingers crossed I don't even know what to ask I'm really not prepared I don't even know if I'm supposed to get cute or what am I supposed to do I'm probably gonna put a hoodie on <laughs> and hope that it just shows this and up um and yeah we're gonna see I'm nervous I'm real nervous oh gosh okay y'all pray for me I'm gonna email them back and accept it and yeah. Mine changed. I did not go and do anything. I just put a jacket on and kind of 
swoop the edges right there and overall my hair looks good and honestly I slept on my hair last night I kind of put it in a little pineapple bun and I didn't have a bonnet on and it looks good and it's still soft but the meeting the meeting went really really good it was my first business meeting so I don't have anything to really compare it to besides like a job interview <laughs> I think I was just more so excited just to talk to people who know about influencing and have a background working with creators and brands hi guys so I just left the doctors and I wanted to come on here and give a little update before I started driving I'm actually just about to head back home but I don't I haven't picked the vlog camera up in a minute um, so just for a little insight it's January 20th my due date is in three days and baby honey is taking his time okay I'm as ready I'm more more ready than everybody else is ready but like he gonna come on his time he gonna come he he just being he procrastinating just like his mama okay <laughs> so I'm two centimeters uh last you guys heard i was one centimeter so i'm two centimeters dilated now and i come back in on my due date which will be monday so i'll come in for an ultrasound and then to discuss options for being induced and all that stuff like that but i'm thinking that i'm probably not going to have to be induced i hope not i don't really want to be induced especially because i don't know i know every birth experience is different and I, but i can't help it but to compare my birth experience from last time to this time and i just i didn't have to um get induced last time with tiana you know it just happen naturally so I feel like he's gonna come when he's ready I don't want to go past my due date um, not that far past like I don't want to be 40 weeks and six days or like you know stuff like that I don't I don't want to be like that so those little remedies that I said I wasn't gonna do I'm going to start them today because at this point I don't want to be induced and I gotta help him maybe he need a little help so I'm about to give him a little help me and Tiana Tiana wants to go play basketball after school so we're gonna go to a park near her school and I'm gonna let her play basketball and I'm going to walk and I'm going to get on this ball we'll see we'll see I'll let you guys know but I just wanted to come and update you guys before I start driving so I'll see y'all when I get back home we're back home and I feel like I literally always have to get my room in order because I don't know it's just it gets in order and then PR boxes pile up and gifts pile up and then I start throwing things in corners and it just becomes a lot so uh, I need to pick up the room because it's looking real baby honey gonna come home and say this is ghetto I'm really packing like I have my bag packed y'all so I don't want y'all to feel like oh I just don't have my bag packed at all it's packed it's just things I need to add and then my friend <laughs> she brought me another gift she brought me another gift and I'm going to add those things to my bag as well because it was like the post the freedom mom postpartum kit Happy birthday, Poo Poo! What are you doing? It's going in and out. I don't know why. I didn't talk all that mess, y'all. And now I want to go to sleep. And I don't know what that doctor did today. But I was already. Oh, shit. I was already feeling pressure, okay? She's made it worse. I'm so tired. Like, I pray this, Lord, I pray that I have a smooth labor like last time and delivery, Lord, and postpartum. 
I was blessed at 13. Having a baby so young and to have the labor delivery and postpartum that I had, I did great, okay? I did amazing. And it was really easy. And I didn't expect that for me to be so young. So I'm really hoping that this time it's the same. And then I got Rita Mom Postpartum Recovery Kit, which, oh my gosh, thank you God, I needed this. It comes with pad liners, witch hazel liners, that's what they're called, perineal healing foam with witch hazel, and then it comes with four postpartum underwears, which is nice. I'm going to do the... I'm also going to do the, the pins, like the disposable underwear, but I um, was told that you really don't need to take those to the hospital. Oh, let me show y'all the stretch marks. Here. Do y'all see them? They're like... And now, granted, I had stretch marks. I mean, clearly you can see like all of these. These are normal. I had these. I think they're going to be worse. I think I'm really going to have like stretch mark stomach now. Once my stomach shrinks down because it's expanded so much. So. I don't know. <sighs> if so, that's going to be a whole nother thing. <laughs> I just started to really not even like my postpartum body all the way but just be comfortable with it so if i'm about to have more stretch marks and it's going to be worse than last time then this is definitely going to be a journey but this ba this belly is carrying a baby so i'm going to be kind to myself because we got a big old baby boy in there decided not to take a nap and we're about to this is my bag that I'm taking to the hospital it's real raggedy oh well it get the job done okay Ugh, so this is my hospital bag or whatever and I kind of just threw the stuff in there as you can see but we're gonna get it right okay let's get it right let's get it right See, I got boxes all in here, y'all. I got boxes of stuff all in here. Oh my God, okay. All right, y'all. Still in the same spot because yeah. But we got a package from Bump Bob, blah, 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 Bump Box. So we're gonna open it. This is my last Bump Box, and we're gonna open it and see what we got.
Y'all, she been making it ever since I cut the camera off, for real. Hey, hold. Hold so close. Hey, okay. Hey, Meanwhile. You gotta buy the new books. Meanwhile. Oh. Gotcha. You got me? Yeah. Thank you. I hit 15. Has that been there? Okay, if I hit 15, you buy me, you gotta buy me the books. No. Yeah. Yeah. Comment if you should buy me V-Bucks if I hit 15. Comment yeah. if I should buy Tiana V-Bucks if she hit 15. And Even though I, I already told I her 15. I would buy her V-Bucks. And then I'm gonna hit 15 because I'm at 8. But they only seen one. Two. But I'm at 8. But they only seen two. Okay, guys, <laughs> I made 8. And y'all seen two. So you got to make the rest of them on camera. So I got to make six more? No, okay. you got to make 13 more on camera. <laughs> so two plus, okay. Okay. See, you just put some V-Bucks in it and they're going to just do whatever. I do. Oh, four. that's four. One more. That was close. I gotta make it in the Z-Book. Oh. Ten more. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> if this girl sit here and make all 15 shots, I know she is. All right, you got until you got you got you better start shooting. You got until 355. It's 353. That's not fair. <laughs> That's not two minutes. It's 354. Are you talking? You better get to shooting. All right, you got until four o'clock. It's 354. Okay. Come four on. Ten. No, four o'clock. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Six more. <laughs> Aim for the square. Aim for the square. What? One more shot. Yes. I thought it was, I thought it was a 13, one more shot, oh, yeah. and you have one minute. Make the shot. laying in the bed and I was watching TikTok and I see all these people with like camcorders. If you watch TikTok, then you know. Okay, like you'll probably come across like the content with the camera recorders. And I was just laying here thinking, I was like, oh my God, I found a camera recorder. And so I pulled it out, here it is. <laughs> I pulled it out and I'm gonna see if I can try to find I know it's not gonna be here before baby honey gets here, but if I can try to find how to make it work and maybe we can have some camera recorder footage when the baby gets here or something, you know? So I'm just gonna play around with this a little bit and see what I can figure out. So, um, for one, I just wanna start off by saying, please ignore my hair. I'm about to actually do my hair. Um, put it in some braids before I go into labor. I was just watching Heinz in the shower. I talk about him a lot because I have anxiety and he is like a YouTuber that I watch that really calms my anxiety. The video that I watched today guys is called Accountability is Self Care. I'll link it in the description box if you're interested. Um, because it really helped me in a sense and if you guys feel how I feel then I would definitely recommend for you guys to go back 
and just watch it before clicking on the video i was like well i don't really struggle with taking accountability like i feel like i've learned how to take accountability over the years so as i'm watching the video he just he's talking about how you know we'll wake up we'll feel bad but it's all about taking accountability for what you do after i don't know if i explained that good or not because i just really suck at explaining shit but <laughs> definitely check him out guys and i just really want to have a better day and i know that i come on here and you know my moods are always up and down you never know like what line you're gonna get how i'm gonna feel but i really just show you guys the real raw and true feelings of how i feel all the time like today i'm just having a day i don't want to say i'm having a bad day because it's not a bad day i'm gonna turn this day around i pulled myself out the bed i took a shower and i'm gonna get done what i need to get done today but i'm just having a day because for one i'm 39 weeks pregnant i'll be full term monday my due date my due date is monday it's saturday january 21st and i thought that i would have had the baby by now and i guess that's why they say don't compare your births don't compare to like previous births that you've had because every birth is different and i know he's gonna come on his own time come when he wants to but like everyone just keep asking me you know is he here yet and then like i want him to be here but he's not ready to come and you know and it's not like we're not making any progress i'm two centimeters and 50 percent um effaced but i just thought that he would have been here by now so i'm anxious about that <laughs> and I'm scared already for going from one kid to two kids like I'm just I don't really know what to expect so I'm trying to like it's like I try to mentally prepare myself but I don't know what I'm mentally preparing myself for and if you see me cry just please ignore it because I'm pregnant and I can't I gotta release the emotions okay <laughs> sometimes I just feel like I compare myself a lot to a lot of things compare my life a lot to a lot of people and i need to really stop that and i've talked about it before but like it's like bad now i don't know what is going on i think that it's just because i expected so much more out of myself and not that having a kid dims you down or anything like that because as a mother you know like having a kid is like it's no greater love than that like it's an amazing rewarding feeling so it's not that it's just i like beat myself up a lot about how i want things to be and things not being exactly how i want it to be so i be ha i be having like a million emotions at one time and then it's like I know I need to work on myself with my childhood trauma because I feel like if I don't work on my childhood trauma I'm not gonna be able to move forward and do anything in life and I'm trying to do everything all at once all on my own and I feel like sometimes I feel sorry for myself and I know I'm just throwing these out here y'all but this is just how my brain is operating I feel bad for myself a lot of the times and it's getting to the point where I'm feeling so much and I'm having so many feelings and I don't want to feel nothing and I don't feel like that's good you shouldn't want to not feel feelings in life you should know how to deal with them and I know this is not going to be a walk in the park an overnight process I'm just I'm trying I'm trying here guys I feel like my inner child and like the childhood trauma that I need to heal is like that little girl is still waiting on someone to come save her and the reality of it is is that I'm here to save myself like no one's gonna come save you you know no one's gonna come and make your life better you are the person that's in control of that and i feel like those two things are connected i'm not sure because i feel like like i'm a strong person and i don't wait on anyone to come and save me or you know but 
I do feel alone a lot of the times like I go through things alone and everyone's always like oh you're so strong oh you're so strong but like being so strong all the time is like it's a good thing but like sometimes it's like fuck I want somebody to just take these problems from me sometimes and say hey I'm here I got you you know like ugh, fuck I'm crying it's just like being such a strong person all the time it's just like it's draining <laughs> oh it's draining and then especially like you know when you're a mom and you have to pick yourself up no matter what like you got kids depending on you you got to pick yourself up so i'm gonna be okay guys i'm just having a day here's a bump update little baby honey oh god look at these y'all they're are they greasy they're greasy so yeah okay we'll just cover those i was sucking my stomach in but this is what he really looks like he's huge could be delusional but I think he's dropping more it feels like but I got to go exchange on these skates okay y'all need skates I <laughs> have 30 days to exchange them and today is like the 30th day so I have to go take them and exchange them but I sorry y'all camera died but I think he has dropped more. Um, it looks like it. So we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. We're going. We're going to. Oh, don't look at me back there. We're going to resume our. Have this baby techniques. When, I get back from exchanging these skates. <laughs> like I am like I've done anything no because I haven't anyways y'all I need to move my things to a bigger bag because I don't have every single thing in my hospital bag that I need and I know y'all are probably like girl we went through the hospital bag twice I know it's my stuff I don't really know what I'm gonna need and what I'm not gonna need but I know that I <sighs> could probably bring my own towel because uh, I forgot to pack that and I forgot to pack my little concealer just in case I take a little picture I don't want to look dead underneath my eyes okay and then I needed some flip flops and house shoes and my camera like I just had a couple things that I need needed to pack so I said I wasn't going to take a suitcase but I am packing a suitcase because that's what's going to fit my stuff so I'm going to get back on this ground and we're going to get that together. Then I'm going to get myself together because I have not. I look a mess, okay? And I need to go out in this rain and exchange these shoes. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. And I think I'm going to pack my heated blanket. Maybe. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I'm not. I'm not going to pack the heated blanket. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh. You can get mommy the dust. Oh, that we baby. Mm. Okay, go sit right here. Sit right here. Sit down. Good boy. That I have new subscribers and I really appreciate you guys. Even my OG subscribers. I love you guys and appreciate you so much. Okay, I don't even... I can't even explain how much I appreciate you guys, especially 
my my OG subscribers because it's been a long journey okay it's been a long journey with me and you know even in real life I'm not the easiest to put up with so I know like you know I'm not the easiest to put up with not fun when your favorite youtuber or like a youtuber that you like watching is inconsistent which I never understood until now so I just really appreciate you guys for supporting me through it all and to my new subscribers you know thank you for joining and uh, I can't wait for you guys to see my growth because I know that I have a lot of a lot of self growth a lot of self discovery that I've been having lately and this is my this is my I'm gonna induce this baby vlog but y'all know I gotta talk because y'all know I'm just so chit chatty I just talk so much I'm back I did not film in Publix it was really a lot of people and um, I'm very cautious of my surroundings I like literally watch my surroundings all the time and it was like these two guys in there that was kind of being a little weird so I just didn't pick the camera up. so I'm gonna show y'all what I got and I'm sitting in my bed yes y'all cuz it's the most comfortable spot for me <sighs> I just don't sit in the living room anymore I don't sit in the kitchen it's like yeah confined to the room let me show y'all what i got i got raspberry lemonade which i'm about to eat with my lunch okay and i got a sprite i know i know not too much guys not too much but we needed it i got this California blend um, broccoli cauliflower carrots just for dinner tonight I'm, I'm making teriyaki chicken and rice I got my sub which you guys saw being made which is like the buffalo sub Let's set that in there and then I just got some chips to eat with it and then I got me some Sour Patch Kids because I be wanting some candy. Not that I really needed it because I really ate cookies earlier. My sweetness is like my sweets. I want my sweets. I gotta have my sweets all the time. So, yeah. And when I went to the doctor, I weigh 165. So, we pushing it. Yeah, we pushing it. Okay, I'm done talking. I'm gonna show y'all my sandwich and then she's gonna get through it. All right, y'all, I got a paper towel and I think I'm gonna share with him. Dude, I love you and your little stinky face, but no, no, no. Well, lettuce and mayo and ranch. Okay.
Okay. I thought I was having some contractions last night, but not like real ones. So I'm just making parts of my master piece. I'm so I'm so eager to go into labor like I'm just like is any pain labor pains like I'm ready <laughs> so <laughs> I don't really know but I know that I'm having a little bit of pain I kind of got to use the bathroom and I know that they say that that's one thing but I think I really have to use the bathroom because I ate a sandwich yesterday so I think that I really have to use the bathroom but I'm gonna get started on my hair because I cannot look like this postpartum. If I look like this postpartum, I'm going to feel like this postpartum and this is just not good. So I said, you know, while I have the energy, of course it's 4.48, 4.48 AM and I'm up, I don't know. But, oh, look at these pimples on my face. I'm drinking my tea and hopefully, I'm like, oh my God, if I get like, through my hair as y'all know my hair is like so thick so i'm not gonna do small parts i'm gonna do bigger parts okay but y'all if i don't make it through my hair by the time like i i'm like i'm talking about like by the time i go into labor like i know when i'm going to go into labor i don't even know when i'm going to go into labor but i hope it's today because today's my due date honey don't you want to come out on your birthday Cause it's your birthday today he's not listening so we'll see drinking a tea watching monet i absolutely love monet i remember watching her um i started watching her from her um miami vlog and i was like i like her it's nothing like watching a youtuber who just be themselves like you ain't trying to impress nobody. You ain't trying to, you know, you can tell the people who really started because they truly, genuinely just want to share their life or share their experiences or whatever the case may be. And you can tell the people who just started just because they want some money. So, yeah, I'm watching her Dubai trip and super inspiring. It is very inspiring.
Snack break. Mm -mm. But y'all, mm, let me not talk with my mouth full. I was watching Sarah Jakes and I like her. I, this is the first video, and I when I say broke me down, and it's not too often that people that preach or talk about God can really break me down, and you know have me thinking or it really means something to me i'm so on her i like her the, the one video i watched just resonated with me i started watching maya crosser graves i like her i like her and it's just so crazy that she was talking about god too and i'm like okay because i was like is it bad that i'm gonna go from watching sarah jakes to watching blogs you know what i'm saying like because i'm feeling good like all like you know i just feel good i'm on a good path so if i go watch a vlog is that gonna take me down a little negative thought path and anyways she was talking about god in the video this is the first video that i've like watched through and i like her so yeah i'm tuned in i got my little sandwich and I'm taking a break before we do this side because I don't know how long it took me, honestly. Mmm. About an hour and a half. About an hour and a half. Because it was like 4.50. Okay. Y'all know I gotta eat in the bed. Ooh. I'm talking with my mouth full. Y'all know I gotta eat in the bed, so I'll see y'all probably when it's finished. But I like it so far. It kind of looks just like braids. Just like some braids. And I'm gonna throw them things in a bun when I feel like it. And I like this, so okay, bye guys.
All right. I done read about three positive comments about this mouse circuit. I'm gonna link this book the specific one down below if you're pregnant and you are interested in but it's a mouse circuit smile circuit how to oh excuse me how to help labor in progress and naturally induce labor on your own I didn't I read three comments y'all that said they did it and they went into labor so I'm doing it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna take a shower because I need to take a shower it's currently 8 42 I need to take a shower get my life together and I, I and I'll be back and we finna do it today. We should have did it yesterday, but we're gonna do it today. Okay, guys. Well, hmm. I'm at my 40 week appointment. We have no baby honey yet, but I'm going in and hopefully we have some good news. I don't wanna get induced, so uh, hopefully I'm making progress and he's just taking his time. I don't know. But I did my hair, so son, if you're ready to come, I'm ready. He's been really, really active, so we'll see. I don't know. I also have y'all niece stuff right here, so if, depending on what they say, will depend on, like, if I'm going to pick her up or if I'm just going to drop her stuff, her stuff off and she's going to stay at her dad's. I don't know. We'll see, though. I'll, I'll check back in when I leave the appointment. All right, Lonnie gang. Well, this is going to be my last bump update. 40 weeks. Um, let me give y'all a proper bump update. 40. Well, today I went to the doctor's and just a little update y'all because I have to get dressed. But so I have to be induced because something had risk. So he's measuring about eight pounds, eight ounces. And I am going to the hospital to be induced. So I will see you guys in the labor and delivery vlog. <laughs> It's very bittersweet. I'm gonna miss him being in my tummy, but I am ready to meet him. This is our last bump update, baby honey. And then I'll have you here. I'm really nervous, but 